book Professor Weasley was looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Professor Weasley asked me to uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Oh, yeah. They don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid. Just a few questions, and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? Uh... Snitch. Snitch it. Feels like, feels like the same. The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? There, there. This doesn't have it there. It feels like a correct answer. Felix well done. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. I wonder Today, why. The Three Brothers involves which magical artifacts? The Deathly Hallows. Correct. According Easy. to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? No, well, it's not just needs at, at, at least. Bloods or club. Finnish or English? Ah, uh, uh, is it Quaffle? The Quaffle. That's right. When a chaser throws the quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded 10 points. True or false? Polyjuice potion allows the drinker to change species. I suppose not. False. Correct. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. Oh, really? I'd like to answer more questions. What governmental body directly preceded the Ministry of Magic? The Wizards' Council. That's correct. The Wizards' Council disbanded in 1707 after the creation of the International Statute of Wizarding Secrecy, which required a more structured government to support its enforcement. Which dragon breed is the smallest? Easy. Uh, this is only that I, I, I can actually know. The Peruvian Viper Tooth. Brilliant! Though the Viper Tooth is the smallest breed, averaging at around 15 feet in length, it is also the fastest breed and feared for its venomous fangs. Who founded the village of Hogsmeade? Quincy Hogg. No, the answer was Hengist of Woodcroft. It is believed that Hengist used the Three Broomsticks Inn as his home. The hide behind was accidentally created by crossbreeding a ghoul with what other magical creature? 
Uh, hide behind. Isn't Amy guys really, uh, really a key creature? Because it, it feels like it's a uh, hide behind is uh, something behind. A demi guys. Yes. While the hide behind has the power of invisibility, those who have seen it have described it as a tall, thin monkey with silver hair. What is well, the only thing to repel a letherfold? The Patronus charm. Well done. The only known survivor of a letherfold attack was a wizard named Flavius Belby, who was on holiday in Papua New Guinea at the time. Who published the law of elemental transfiguration? Mm. No idea. The Verne de Montmorency. That's incorrect. The answer I was looking for was Gamp. Gamp. One of the principal exceptions to Gamp's law is that food cannot be conjured, though it can be summoned. What does the Hogwarts motto translate to? Okay, no, not conjuring food, but summoning. Okay. Never tickle a sleeping dragon. Yeah, I think Correct. I remember that one. In Latin, the Hogwarts motto is Draco Dormians Nunquam Titillandus. Which magical creature is the only one known to produce eggs through its mouth? I don't think it's Basilisk. Ashwinder eggs I have seen. This sounds like a. The rune's paw. That's right. According to Parcel Mouths, each of the rune's paw's three heads serves a different function. The left head is the planner, the middle is the dreamer, and the right is the critic. Where is Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry located? Any better morning. Doesn't sound like Pyrenees. Mount Greylock. Well done. The American school was founded okay, in the American. century by Esalt Sare and James Stewart. What is the most powerful love potion known to wizard kind? Amatentia. That's the answer. Yep. Amatentia smells differently to every person according to what they find attractive, such as dusty book covers or. <clears throat> Are you interested in continuing on to the next round? They're my most difficult questions. This is going horribly wrong. Wonderful. I do admire your thirst for knowledge. Emmerich the Evil was killed in a duel against whom? Egbert the Egregious. That's right. Okay. Emmerich gained notoriety for terrorizing villages in the south of England during the Middle Ages when he was the master of the Elder Wand. Yeah, I, I think I that's their hand on the court I re remember. As it goes the goal, what foul are they committing? Chaser keeps the hand on the quaffle to the goal. Blatching haversack sack sack sacking. Haversacking. That's right. Blatching is flying to intentionally collide with a player. Stooging is when two chasers knock the other team's keeper away from the goals so that a third chaser can score. A bite from a mackled mana claw has the unusual side effect of causing what? Bad luck. Correct. Native to the European coastline, guessed. the effects of a mana claw's bite can last up to a week. What plant excretes stinks up? Sopophorus beam. I'm afraid the correct answer was Mimbulus Mimbletonia. The Mimbulus Mimbletonia okay. plant secretes stink sap as a defensive mechanism when touched. The pepper up potion evolved from a remedy created by which 12th century wizard?
Maybe they're up. Linford of Stinchcombe. Very good. Okay, it's, it's Stinchcombe much right. Later, Glover Hipworth would expand on Linford's previous work to create the pepper up potion we know today. In the Wizard and the Hopping Pot, what does the Elder Wizard leave for his son in the Hopping Pot? A smaller pot. Just yes, yes. The answer was a single slipper. The story was created by Beedle the Bard. Ah, there that one. Versions. I won't spoil what the slipper was for if you haven't read it recently. The Snallygaster is native to which region of the world? The Scottish Highlands. No, the answer was North America. The part bird, part reptile, is a distant relative of the Okami and has serrated fangs and a bulletproof hide. Who is the Muggle Knight featured in the Fountain of Fair Fortune? It's probably not Lancelot. Luckless. Luckless sounds fun. Sir Luckless. Correct! The three witches in the story are named Asha, Althida, and Amata. Oh, I adore a story that ends with a twist. The world's largest kelpie is also known by what other name? What was kelpie? The Loch Ness Monster. Correct. The Office okay. of Misinformation has Office of Misinformation. any muggle evidence of the kelpie's existence. Who was the first minister for magic? Cadmus Peveril. Just no, guessing. The first minister was Eunuch Gamp. Gamp's greatest legacy was the founding of the Department of Magical Law Enforcement. It outlawed the unforgivable curses. You've answered all of my questions. Ah, oh, it's nice to know there's another student who appreciates the value of knowledge. You should be pleased with your performance. Not many students would have done so well. Thank you for humoring me by participating. I had a splendid time. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. Slightly lagging. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Transformation. Oh, it be became a butterfly. Beautifully done. This might might be really powerful. Mm. 
You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. Deke tells me you captured a unicorn and brought it back to the room of requirement. Yep. Protecting so rare a beast is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors she, she knows of everything. extracurricular activities. Was your visit to the kitchens and the Hogsmeade graveyard with Nick to bribe a ghost for information connected in any way to Professor Fig? Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. Oh, I okay. see. Life. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Okay, <laughs> this is this fun, fun spell. Uh, so, talents. We had some interesting talent here. Explosive barrel. Yes, please. Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook. Just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. But I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Hello, Gareth. So, has your aunt been taking it a bit easier on you lately? Unfortunately, no. In fact, a few days ago, she gave me a detention. I was only testing a new recipe in a mostly empty classroom, and the fire was put out. Mostly enough. empty classroom. <laughs> if you're setting things on fire, then perhaps you ought to rethink your choices. That's exactly what Aunt Matilda said. Can't let the doubters sway me. When they taste my latest brew, they'll forget their criticisms and the fires. It'll be bigger than butterbeer. Oh, that gives me an idea. Better write it down. Best of luck to you. Better than Padabir. Okay. Sakarissa, I found the blue tubers you needed. Splendid. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. May I have them? Of course. Happy to have found them for you. Thank you. And your payment, of course. Now I can begin perfecting my potion to save our poor pimply peers. Don't know who should be more grateful. I or our unsightly spotty classmates. One day the wizarding world will know my name, and you will have been a small part of it. Oh, it's you! Just the person I need. Okay. Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William, the one I told you about after charms class. He's... he's been cursed. He ignored my warning, and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry, how exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. Beets. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. Uh, I understand. I'm so sorry. That sounds like a trying situation. I'm glad you understand. Everyone else just laughs at me as if it's a joke. No compassion at all. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. 
I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that weren't possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb, and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. How awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as Cape a result flapper. of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade. Escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? I think we must. Why was Mom Duke's tomb cursed? The curse is the result of an intense sibling rivalry between Granum Dale and his younger brother Marmaduke. Marmaduke was a famed herbologist, and Granum resented the attempt. <laughs> okay, the so sibling rivalry sounds as if so it it's a curse that the aim for the my brother, not like Granum did. Family when members. Died, Marmaduke was given the prized family crest. Granum felt that as the eldest child, he should have been given it. Years later, when Marmaduke died, Granum stole it and cursed the tomb so that none in the Dale family okay, could yeah. ever pay their respects. Yeah. Guess that part. How do you that know part. it's safe? I don't want my feet to turn into beets as well. Oh, but the curse only applies to yeah. Marmaduke's descendants. Definitely. As my brother so aptly demonstrated. That's why I need your help. You're unrelated to my family, so the curse wouldn't affect you. Why is your ancestor so well known? He discovered the properties of several magical herbs and plants. He also uncovered numerous types of flora. The wizarding world owes him a great debt. His work not only impacted the discipline of herbology, but also potion making. I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly could, simple Could be filled with them. Um, You'll find it just east of the hamlet or of something. Pottero. So if you are kind of what needs doing needs doing. Is everything all right? If the Hamlet sent you here to talk to me about, about, I know what I have to do. What? It's not every day a girl has to put down her own troll. I should be allowed to work up to it. What do you mean your own troll? I thought that's why you were here. I'm sorry. <sighs> I suppose if you spend enough time with trolls, you forget your manners. I'm Alexandra. I didn't mean to be short with you. With Ranrock's lot seemingly everywhere, I thought the Hamlet could use a bit more security. <sighs> but my plan has gone awry. Did you go I and hire trolls? When he almost trampled half the Hamlet yesterday. He just needs more time. But everyone wants him gone. They think it's mad, my training a troll. Impossible, even. It certainly takes a lot of courage to try, I'll give you that. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. I wish others felt the same. But I suppose I understand why everyone's been so concerned. What made me think I could train him? I should have learned from Barnabas the Barmy. But he's my troll and my problem. I'll be honest. I'm afraid I won't be able to take care of him. He's stronger than any troll I've ever encountered. I wish I knew someone else who could do it. Who's Barnabas the Balmy? Surely you've seen the tapestry of him at Hogwarts. It hangs in the seventh floor corridor. Yeah. He allegedly tried to train trolls for the ballet. You can imagine how that turned out. What exactly were you training the troll to do? I was hoping to train him to serve as protection for us. 
Frankly, I struggled to teach him even a word or two. Couldn't give him even a semblance of self-control. I'm not thrilled at the prospect, but I'll consider it. Oh, no. I didn't mean to suggest that you should do it. In fact, you should avoid the area just southwest of here. At least until I work up the courage to do what needs to be done. No oh, beats. Well, my feet didn't turn into beats. That's a good start. Yep. Couldn't bring them. Lumos. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Ah! I had light, but apparently they are dangerous. Okay. Bombarda. Lumos. Only light. Should have known a herbologist would use Devil's Snare. Incendio. Lumos. Carefully. Carefully. Troll, you can't be serious. Glacius, Capulso. Okay. Protego. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Okay, Flipender doesn't work. Arrest the momentum. Expelliarmus. Glacius. Confringo. Ah. Not, not going well. Confringo. Arrest the momentum. Glacius. Expelliarmus. Protego. Ouch. Bombarder. 
Bombarda. Arrest their momentum. Place it. Can bring us. Infamous falls. So this was a bit more more dangerous troll than others, I think. Rebellion. Wasn't going good, so I had to use lots of lots of potions. And once again, uh, healing potions. I didn't use those. A sarcophagus. This must be Marmaduke. That should reverse the curse. Hopefully. I take it you're Alexandra's friend. No, no, it's, no, it's not going well now. I took pretty much damage. Now it works. I often forget to block or. <laughs> or I'm, I'm just too, too slow. that needed to be saved from that troll. Revelio. Please thank you, pardon me, sorry. 
Uh, didn't work out so well. I hope you avoided my throw. No. That well, well, mostly. It's done, Alexandra. I took care of him. My throw? What? Oh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. I wish things could have turned out differently for him. Any plan you had to train that thing was doomed. He tried to kill me the entire time. Goodness. I'm glad you're all right. You're very brave. People in the hamlet had already crafted a moniker for whoever eventually defeated my... I mean, that troll. It was troll something or other. Slayer? Yes, that was it. I suppose it's your title now. I need some time on my own, but truly... Thank you for what you did. The Troll Slayer. Has a nice ring to it. I'd be terribly grateful if you could help me and my friend with a time-sensitive delivery. Okay. You sound as if you could use some help. How fortunate to see you. The, um... What was it? Troll, <laughs> slayer, or vanquisher? <laughs> they don't, they don't know what it is. No matter. You clearly know how to get things done. Eddie Thistlewood's the name. Listen, a friend of mine in Feldcroft needs help fighting Rangrock's loyalists. I sent two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages to help, but they've gone missing. Good idea. Those cabbages are nothing to be trifled with. <laughs> My thoughts precisely. <laughs> you see... I know plants, and I believe the goblins will be so irritated by the onslaught of ferocious vegetation, they will simply leave Feldcroft alone. Well, that's a I plan. I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiai. I simply can't leave my shop at present. Very well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. What do you have for sale? I'm convinced that Feldcroft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages defending them. Hello there. Do you have the special delivery for my... Hello, Mr. Ndi. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? I have them right here. Marvelous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place, along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. What do you have for sale? At last, some reinforcements. Hopefully this is enough to thwart the goblins. Now, if you like what you bought, be sure to come in and see me again. A pleasure doing bit. Have I mentioned you're welcome to stop by any? Now, we are going to the see our friend and see... Yeah, we need to. Yeah, I need to actually return that one. The shadow of time. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned? I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. 
I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. Let's get into dark catacombs. I wonder what could happen. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to your nerve just yet. At least now we know we're not alone in here. Yep. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insects. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. <laughs> we're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. <laughs> Lol. Ah. This room is full of bugs. spider. I shall sleep that tonight. Akio. Okay, he, uh, he's afraid of spiders. Maybe they, this is not wise. <laughs> Maybe this is not now most this wise. Is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with iron bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Revelio. Accio. Confringo. There's something here by the altar. What did you find? Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the great room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Mm, really? Interesting. Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think, I, I don't for think a that... moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Confringo! Oh, stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. Ok, 
Okay, so how do we get through that bone barrier if it's resistant to... Okay. I knew it. He said that it's it's a key. You've done it. Creepy. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. <laughs> nice. <laughs> ah. Before we trudge on these puns, realize something. The student's diary mentions the imperious curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. Yeah. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. So the Dark Wizards in Harry Potter claimed that they were under Imperio. So that's why they went by, were really punished. Uh, when the Voldemort was first uh, won, or well, his own spell backfired on him. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Pretty good student, though. Fifth year and <laughs> learning Imperio. There we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Okay. Can I not do use the Okay. Sebastian, the relic. Look. Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I wonder. I have no idea. But we're here for the relic. Yeah, how it's going to reverse the curses. Let's think a moment. What do, does it need, need to actually reverse the... Not nothing good, probably. 
so you need to make bigger sacrifice to actually save someone. The note advises to leave the relic alone. I assure you, we were meant to find this. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Okay, he course. is taking it regardless. I must keep this relic secret, especially for my uncle. Is that ominous? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. I can't believe this. How about me don't fight? How much did you hear? Everything. I was glad to hear you tell Sebastian to leave the relic. We need to stand together. Convince Sebastian this is wrong. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him. But I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Yeah. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian! We're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance. That the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. Akio! I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. You just watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Yep. Ouch. Read the world of another all this grass it no longer feels like a tomb i've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems often cave-ins and then were abandoned 
Exactly. We'll be fine, though. <laughs> we'll be fine. <laughs> He's only t telling that they are, they are going to be fine. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. Seems like a bit, bit of similar story with that one uh, we get to Feldcroft, girl who used the uh, ancient to magic. To get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Oh no. Feldcroft's in trouble. They're under attack. I knew Fet it. Hurry. Oh no. Okay, he saved her with an unforgivable curse. Okay, that's something she didn't want to see. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. There was little time to react, but it was an unforgivable curse. I acted in the moment. That's all. I shall make my uncle see reason. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my uh, sister. He's, he's underage, so... Let him calm it's, down it's... A while. 
May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help. He, he can't be you may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you... So basically he pushes the Sebastian away and he goes to... Immediately. Jumps down to the well. Yeah, well... Why, Sebastian? Yeah, because you pushed him away.